Hello traders, good morning. Welcome to this FXDD video on the Euro dollar and pound dollar. My name is Chris from Elite Currency. Before we start, be aware of this uh, disclaimer. Trading is considered high risk and may not be suitable for everyone. Please seek the advice of an independent financial advisor for more information on that. And this video is for informational and educational purposes only. Subscribe to the FXDD YouTube channel to catch all of the video analysis from Nenet and myself. And of course, check out these two links for the live trading webinars if you want to join live. And if you want to see the recordings, of course, check out the FXDD YouTube channel. All right, let's take a look at the markets. All right, so this is the euro dollar and it has been moving down a lot. We had beautiful uh, breakout and continuations uh, on this euro dollar on the hourly chart already here. Uh, back at 110.50, then another flag, then another flag at one, then another flag, and another one. Beautiful breakouts to the downside. And uh, I think this was a, a very good push down, as expected, a wave five. Uh, perhaps this is a wave three, because the momentum is a little bit stronger, actually going even through the target I had in mind at 199.40, and making it all the way down to the 88.6 fib uh, of this swing. So now price is again at a key decision spot as indicated um, I think last week that a bearish continuation down to these fibs is likely now price has reached these fibs so again it's a key zone for either a bearish breakout or a bullish bounce at this moment the bears seem to be in control but before I trade it to the downside I need to see a bear flag on the one hour chart and then a break otherwise I would still be careful and if today's daily candle is bullish that could indicate actually uh, a bounce and Maybe a retracement later this week and another bounce might happen. So that's how a potential reversal could slowly start. But I'm not going to kid you here. The, the bears are certainly in control at this point. And the bulls really have very little to lean on. It, it's almost like the very last potential support zone um, could still stand away and could stand price to the upside. But... Yeah, it's going to be very tough for the bulls to push up against that much momentum. I still think at this moment, although I was bullish and I expected a, uh, a bearish ABC here to take place, at this moment, I think that the downside break is more likely. And I probably price made an ABC pattern here, I guess. In any case, before an upside is confirmed, price would certainly need to break above 110 in the 21 EMA zone here uh, before price is in a bullish territory. So that will take some time. Uh, certainly will take at least uh, some strong price action here, a break, pullback, continuation pattern uh, before this is bullish again. At the moment, as I said, on lower time frames, uh, this is looking like a pretty good push down. So looking more like a wave three has been completed of some degree. If we get a flag here like that later this week, a break of the flag, if price goes maybe back into this zone, for instance, uh, right in here, uh, where we had a consolidation zone for instance so if there is a flag like that if i put a fib from maybe here to here for instance like that and this is a wave forward and it could easily go back to 109.40 in the 23.6 fib maybe the 38.2 fib at 109.60 but those would be bouncing spots for downside if this is a wave forward we do see a bear flag so before i trade it down i would need to see a bear flag maxed fib that i would consider is the 50 in the weekly pivot point at around just below 110. If it breaks above 110 though, or if price shows strong momentum up and then a flag, then a reversal is starting to become more likely. And in that case, I would be willing to trade it to the upside if it at least goes above, let's say 110. And in that case, uh, the tables have turned and the bull bullish momentum is visible and I think the bulls are back in control. Otherwise, if there is a, uh, a clear bear flag, then it's probably a, a wave four pattern of some degree, either of this degree, one, two, three, four on this time frame, or um, even maybe a wave four on the four hour chart degree, one, two, all of that is wave three with a uh, wave one, two, three, four, five, completing that red three like that. And there could be then in that case, even a bigger wave four. And uh, if I put the fib on the bigger wave four, it, uh, it could bounce at, uh, at these two fibs, for instance. So I will keep a, a fib on both swings and uh, keep an eye on the, both of these levels, on all of these levels, in fact. There's a lot of fibs in this zone. So that could be a strong resistance level, as I already mentioned. 
But if it starts to push above uh, 110, and if there are flags and continuations, then a bullish reversal is starting to become more likely. Specifically, if it moves up all the way up in here at 110.50 and then makes a drop down, there could be an inverted head and shoulders as well, by the way, something like that. So I'm not saying that that necessarily will happen, by the way. Uh, difficult to imagine at this point. But if it does, then um, I would shift again to my bullish view. The bullish view I had in this zone at 109.50, 40-ish, um, is now disappeared because of the strong momentum. And I think that if there is a flag, I would actually trade it for continuation lower. If there is a flag, downside looks good. And the next targets could be 108.60, 108.20, uh, 107.50, as price keeps dropping like that for a downtrend continuation, all right? But need some kind of flag, need some retracement first of all, otherwise I don't think it's a good spot because price is too close to support. All right, pound dollar. Now pound uh, made a strong downside here and then build a correction like that and then rebroke below uh, 130 and 129.50 support and showed good momentum and bounced it to 144 EMA. So here too, is this a bounce at the end of the ABC for a reversal or is price still in this decline and will it further decline uh, and go through to 144 EMA? So at this point, that's a little bit tricky, I think. Uh, the ABC pattern that I thought was likely after five ways developed here, we did get ABC and we saw a push lower. That, it could be at a spot that that's finished, but doesn't have to be necessarily finished. So it's a little bit tricky. I think the most important probably is to keep an eye on probably this trend line. And let's see if we get a candle close that can break below 129. If there's a strong candle close below 129, it, it could indicate the end of a correction and a, a downside break uh, again. And let's take a look at the hourly chart then in that case. And I would probably put a fib from, from here to here, I would say, or maybe even from, from here to here. You can see 50, 61.8 fib bounce so far. And the targets would be at the minus two, minus 61.8 target for the moment. All right, at 128.40, 128 ish. And there could be a breakout. So if it breaks below the 20A on the hourly chart, that could indicate the rebreak. There was certainly strong momentum here, good, good channel. This retracement is a little bit bigger than expected, I would say. But if it rebreaks again, fair chance of that follow through to the downside. For upside, well, yeah, that would really need price to show good momentum, I guess, challenging, if not breaking 130 in a flag, then I would consider maybe trading to the upside. So that would, yeah, that's not so likely. Could take some time as well. As long as price is uh, respecting this 21 EMA zone on the four hour chart, more downside is still likely. Would really have to break above the 20 EMA zone, pull back and bounce, uh, before I'm bullish and would trade uh, the pound dollar to to the upside. So I think that's uh, that's it for the moment. Certainly we had strong weekly and uh, daily candles on the euro dollar pound dollar after the NFP and we did see some follow through on that so far, uh, specifically on the euro dollar. On the pound dollar, maybe not as much as yet, a little bit as you can see, but just very little. Uh, it's really talking about a few pips here. We did have a lower low so at this moment, I would expect probably more likely that price will make one more lower low because the previous lower low was really uh, quite shallow. So I'm leaning actually still towards bullishness despite the, the break here to the upside, the second break. Um, but let's see if, if, it, if it is able to push through this level, of course, only then. And uh, if it does bounce up again, then I would consider upside if, it, if there's strong momentum in this push higher. That's it for now. And uh, well, thank you for joining. I hope to see you in uh, my live webinar tomorrow.